it gives me great pleasure to name this ship Sir David Attenborough, and may God bless her and all those who sail in her. We are, of course, here to celebrate a true British marvel, one that is strong, sturdy, and incredibly well-engineered, that deepens our understanding of the impact our behavior has on the world around us, and arms us with the facts to do something about it. An icon capable of feats not seen before and potentially never seen again. And no, I'm not talking about you, David. Those words wouldn't do you and your lifetime's work justice. I'm referring to the hugely impressive ship behind us. <laughs> Through this state-of-the-art new ship, the British Antarctic Survey will help to expand global knowledge of the polar oceans and the impact of climate change on this crucial region. As last week's climate protests the world over, and yesterday's report on our oceans and frozen regions demonstrated, there has never been a more important moment for this ship to get to work. And there is no person more fitting for this beacon of scientific research to be named after than you, David. It is my immense privilege and relief to welcome Sir David Attenborough, rather than Boaty McBoatface, to speak. <laughs> Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, great problems require great research and facts in order to solve them. That's what this astonishing ship will be here to do, to find out the facts, to find the science with which to deal with the problems that are facing the world today and will increasingly do so tomorrow. It is the greatest possible honour that it should carry this marvellous ship, should carry my name. And I wish good luck, good fortune to everyone who will sail and work with her.